Chapter 8, Sarbanes-Oxley Internal Control and Cash. Learning Objective 3 states we will describe and illustrate the application of internal controls to cash. Cash includes coins, currency, paper money, checks, and money orders, money on deposit with a bank or other financial institution that is available for withdrawal is also considered to be cash. Cash is the asset most likely to be stolen or used improperly in a business. We have to maintain solid internal control mechanisms to make sure that cash is accounted for at every single point that cash changes hands from the, the customer to the business, from the business to the bank. Businesses normally receive cash from two main sources, customers purchasing products or services and customers making payments on account. One of the most important controls is to protect cash received in the over-the-counter sales cash register. This is a flow chart that shows how cash would come in from a customer. The customer shops, goes to the cash register, pays for the merchandise, the cashier then takes the cash and deposits it into the cashier's department. From there, the cash is deposited and taken to the bank. The cashier also provides receipts to the accounting department who does the journal entry to record all sales transactions in the accounting system. A predetermined amount of money that is given to each cash register clerk in a cash drawer is called a change fund. Most cash registers start with anywhere from $100 to $150 of equal amounts of currency um, so that they can make change and as change comes in, you will keep and maintain a certain amount available for change throughout the day. Salespersons may make errors in making change for customers or in ringing up cash sales. As a result, the amount of cash on hand may differ from the amount of cash sales. Such differences are recorded in a cash short and over account. Let's take, for instance, that cash sales for May 3rd totaled $35,690 per the cash register tape. And after removing the change fund, only $35,668 was left in the cash drawer, meaning that the cash register was short. The cash sales and shortage would be recorded as follows. We will debit cash for $35,668, debit cash short and over for $22, and credit sales for $35,690. By debiting cash short and over, we are indicating that there is a negative amount or a short amount. If we credit this account, we will then recognize that there was an overage in the cash register. If there had been a cash over, cash shortage and over would have been credited for the overage. Cash is received in the mail when customers pay their bills. Most companies design their invoices so that customers return a portion of the invoice called a remittance advice with their payment. Cash may also be received from customers through electronic funds transfer, EFT. Customers may authorize automatic electronic transfers from the checking accounts to pay monthly bills. Companies encourage customers to use EFT for the following reasons. One, EFT costs less than receiving cash payments through the mail. Two, EFTs enhance internal controls over cash since the cash is received directly by the bank without an employee's handling cash. And three, EFTs reduce late payments from customers and speed up the processing of cash receipts. The control of cash payments should provide a reasonable assurance that, one, payments are made for only authorized transactions, and two, cash is used effectively and efficiently. A voucher system is a set of procedures for authorizing and recording liabilities and cash payments. It may be either manual or computerized. A voucher is any document that serves as a proof of authority to pay cash or issues an electronic funds transfer. This voucher will generally be attached to an invoice and a check that's been printed and the person who signs the checks will be the person who authorizes the voucher as well. This concludes the cash controls um, objective three from chapter eight.